Hello everyone, welcome to day 101. We've actually hit over day 100. Got a few gems at the moment, been rolling in. I'm going to talk about how I can get more gems, how I can improve my time management on this account to get even more gems. And we're going to have a lovely cup of tea. Lovely cup of tea. Has anyone else put the spoon in a cup of tea when they have one? I always leave the spoon in because I put sweetener in. I like stirring as I drink. The old joke, doctor, doctor, every time I have a cup of tea, I get this searing pain in my eye. Take the spoon out. But it's probably just me who does it. On to business. Well, we have been having quite the gem party. And we took two circles in my alliance and I joined the other alliance because I was lucky enough to be online when they were taking their, uh, their circle. So I got 9,000 gems through that. We did three times Silk Road, so it was 900 through that. And then we won the Ark of Osiris. I actually got like 10,000 points the first time. I've become relevant. It looks like YSG again is helping out. Where is it? It's here somewhere, right? Here we go. Ark of Osiris victory. So we got another 500 there and then another 2,000 from that. I even hit my 10,000 points, as I said. Another 10 legendary commander sculptures. So that's about 12,500 gems in a day and a half, which is pretty good. So I decided, well, we've got 20,000, let's call that 20,000. That's going to take us to 285. Two, we round it up, say 284, let's round it down or use the correct number because it's basically exactly right. So we'll get to 284,000 gems, which means uh, VIP points, which means we need 66,000 more to get to VIP 12. And then I can start freeing myself from... The VIP grind, start using our equipment, commanders, even book upgrades. As book upgrades go, we're rallying level 7 forts at the moment. They've just been released. I've been doing a lot of those, so my castle, which is now level 18, is nicely poised to begin the level 19 grind. Ever since I whinged about us not doing enough farm fort rallies, I put it in the chat, and we'll be doing a lot more. I'm glad about that. One thing which I really think I should be doing more of, Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I'm talking to the great god of free-to-play, Hisoka. If you've seen these videos before, you'll see I have a tremendous amount of respect for. He's been... Uh, this YSG's 5523. He's an absolute hero. And this is what he showed me, which has made me consider what I'm doing. So this is 21st. That was yesterday. He got... All these gems just from farming gems. So that's 890, we'll call that 1200, we'll call that as well. 4,000, more than 4,000 gems from just chaining the gem farming, sending everyone out all day doing gem farming. Now, Hisoka is better than me at being free to play. And a big factor in that is, well, he's very smart, but also the time, I guess, that's invested in it. But I'm going to try and start doing this a little bit more too because he's been telling me about his plans for gems and you know what, they're pretty good. The amount of gems he's been able to spend, like imagine just having an extra 4,000 gems a day. Okay, you don't have many resources because you're uh, you're not gathering them, but he's gathering them through his farm instead. So the amount of time and effort he's putting in, doing it very well. I'm going to start trying to do that. I'm going to try and start getting 1,000 a day. It's going to be tough because I'm <laughs> lazy. But I don't know, 1,000 a day, that's an extra 30,000 a month. A pretty good, pretty good aim to have for when we just need another 60 odd thousand to get to VIP 12. So from now on, I'm going to try and farm more gems. I think I've probably farmed, I don't know, a thousand so far, maybe 2,000, basically not any. I've used some of my new gems in combination with a good reset, with a good building rune and architect, which for once was available on upgrading the stable and upgrading the barracks. 2,000 gems a piece for these, but I kind of felt it was long overdue that I finally do it. I will speed them up when there's something that rewards me for speeding them up because I don't like sacrificing all these troops I could be training. But it just felt the, the bonus you get from... Let's see if I can actually show it. Um, anyway, it, it, you get the attack bonus, but I'm pretty certain... I might, be, might just be pulling this out of my ass, but I'm pretty certain troops train... Here we go, training speed bonus 50%. And training speed bonus 50% here. So, okay, so I've just made that up. I've always thought that you get a, a, a boost if you go to level 25. The troops train quicker, but apparently I just made that up. So that notwithstanding, it's still a good thing to do. Get more troops. They're slightly stronger. I'm going to have to do it eventually to get to tier 5. So 
may as well do it now. We use, lose a bit of equity for the More Than Gems event, but as we saw last time, I just bugger that up anyway. So, so there's no real, uh, no real downside in the interim to getting these two things up to 25. Aside from that, I'll have to get the Tavern and the Wall. They'll be my next big things to aim for. I've targeted all these going to 24. I don't think I need to get them to 25. Now, we need one, obviously, for the research build, for the troop training buildings, which we've got. And we need to get this gold mine to 25 so we can get the trading post to 25. But for now, I'm, it all works pretty well. Once we get the castle to 25, we get the hospital, we get the academy, uh, then the watchtower. Uh, you know, the wall has to get the... You know, I, I forget the order, but you need a watchtower 25. I thought you had to get that for the wall, but you don't. You need to get the... You need the Watchtower 25 to get Academy 25. So long story short, everything will have to be 25 eventually. May as well do some now. And if I'm starting to farm gems with more, more vigor, so it takes 30 minutes per gem, probably down to 25 once I get the research speed up thing here. The whatever it's called, the gem and polishing, cutting and polishing. Then, you know, we'll be supplementing our gem income that way. Aside from that, not really too much report on the account. I missed the last fight because I was, I was a little busy um, arguing, actually. It's a beautiful morning. So I just stood in the other room and got on a... Disappointing that I missed it. The next fight is, I believe, in... Well, it's almost 9pm now. I believe the next fight's at 3am. Let's just check. So it's in 8 hours. So, ah, oh, that's... No, that's not, that's much later than that. Okay, I might be able to fight, actually, because as long as I just get up early and I'll be fighting for that one, I'm, I've had my share of free honour. We are still leading the way in the Alliance and the Kingdom. Oh, no, we're not, we're not. We're, <laughs> things have changed. The Kingdom is not that big a deal because the rewards are kind of crap. But the Alliance one's the big one. You get the 20 gold heads for winning that, so I really want to get that. We'll see if we do. 58 are proving incredibly strong still. We're 250th now, as you can see, in the honor roll individually, 49th in my alliance. It doesn't help that I'm not really doing barbs. I'm trying to spend all of my AP doing forts. And as you can see from the, the fact none have popped since I've been online, it can be somewhat difficult to find uh, people to do them with. I've been rallying myself, just putting my Thutmose equipment on the now maxed Boudicca, but... It still is, I don't know, I take quite a lot of sev wounds. I can beat a level 6 quite easily as long as I've got 600,000, but I do take a lot of wounded. So we're trading off resource for books, which is a trade I'm happy to make. Books is always going to be the main problem. 1 plus 1 forts, we're still, well, we're, we're nowhere near strong enough to do anywhere like that at the moment as a kingdom, but that's where I want to be eventually, because then you get, if you get books, you usually get 5 books instead of the 3. So obviously speeds up your castle progression nicely. In terms of commanders, while we're looking through the account, I have to make a decision on who I want to level up next with my perps. And I think we can make that decision now. So I've always said I want Kusanogi up there. I'm interested to see whether Kusanogi Max is better than Thutmose. I hope not, because then I will feel like a fool. I have an Imhotep, who I just use for Canyon, and the other thing, whatever you call it, Champions of Olympia. Got my Boudicca and my Loha, so the obvious choice to me is probably Belisarius, simply because I'd, when we do do barb marching, it's important that we have decent peacekeeping commanders. Aside from that, it's either going to be Belisarius, Sun Tzu, who's relatively close, Kusanoki is the closest, or Joan of Arc, because she's excellent in Canyon. And I don't think she'll be used much as a supporting march. The, the days of her doing that are long gone, but she's still excellent in the Canyon, so it's one of these four I'm going to pick. I'm inclined to pick Belisarius, but please let me know in the comments if you think I should just maybe go for Sun Tzu instead to maybe have myself a secondary march, an infantry march later on. The reason I'm against that now is because if you look at my lovely military technology, you'll see Woot Steel and Scutum not quite at the level they need to be to fight. We're only going for the Archer so far. I think diversifying too much is a bit of a mistake early on, so I'm sticking with one march and making sure that's the Archer's. No books, no dice. We have plenty of resources here. I've yet to calculate how many, but I'm not stressed about my resource uh, my resource situation in any way just yet. So I'm happy to go and collect gems, gems, gems. Again, it's mainly the time sink because you've got to be online constantly. You've got to 
the way the way I've always done it when I actually do this is you send far too many troops. So for instance, here we have where is it? Forty six thousand instead of like eight hundred, and then you just go from one gem pit to another. When you complete this one, another one spawns. You just go looking for it. For this one, I'll just send this. So my gem quest starts here. Let's see how long it actually lasts for. Because uh, gems are the most important commodity and quite difficult to find the motivation to get. Finally, I'll show you my farm account, which I have been very quietly working on in the background. And it's in quite a good state now. Probably the biggest in the Alliance, because I do spend a fair bit of time each day on it. Probably 10, 20 minutes. I don't bother doing any of the AP related stuff, but I do daily quests i make sure we're always gathering always building etc etc now it's got five marches the gathering is a lot better as you can see here i could be spending more time on it so it's gathering all the time woodlot well it's still better than still better than going to a node so not much thought goes into this to be honest i just gather what's nearby always in the territory In terms of commanders, it's exactly what you'd expect. All the gathering commanders are the ones I'm getting up high, getting them all to level 37, where they get the max tree for gathering. You can get this down. So I've got four of them so far. Just need one more, then I can do five marches with maximum gathering efficiency. And while I'm on it, yeah, we're, we're fine for the heads as well. So there we go. I will just check if I am the biggest in the Alliance. I, again, I assume so. 5.5... Yeah, just about. I don't do anything special on this account. I just make sure I play it every day. I'm sure there are bigger farms at this stage of the game, but I haven't seen many. Oh, God. Oh, I'm fourth in the MG again. I did ask not to be in the MG. I really, really, really don't care about El Cid. I could get there because I have a lot of... I have a lot of speed ups now. If we go back to my main, we'll see the speed up situation. We touched on it the other day, but I really don't want to spend all my speed ups to get El Cid. I don't, I'm never going to use him. I hate him with a passion, as we've established many, many, many times. So I will politely decline my opportunity to get 19 million points in Mightiest Governor. In my other account, we're going for Gorgo and Heraclius. That's a, a nicer couple of MG commanders to consider, but El Cid, not my cup of tea. There we go. Speed ups. We, we worked out we got just over half a year. Well, we've got even more now because we got two. No, we got 300. Six, 300 times 60 minute speed ups from getting the circles and some more from getting the Ark of Cyrus, etc. etc. YSG is about halfway there to his next skill, I guess. Yeah, just a little over halfway there. Hopefully, we can get the, the mythical 5515. I don't hold out much hope for that, but yeah, never know in this game. Well, and that's probably it, my friends. Let me know who I should invest my next purple heads into for now. We're a bit flush with gems. We're flush with speed ups. We're just waiting, waiting patiently for one of these, one of these, I don't even know what it's called, foundation of wisdom, something events where you, you get gold heads for pushing science. And then I will really push the science. If there's a possibility of getting 20 heads, I'm happy to throw my speed ups in. I don't know if there is, because there'll be some guys who are going for tier five. But before we go, Let's open 12 gold chests and see if we get anything of note. My guess is very much on the no side, but come on, give me a Thutmose. Did think that was Thutmose. It wasn't Thutmose. Anything else? I guess Ashid is okay and Pyrrhus is uh, largely irrelevant. Ooh, got a nice little Mehmed. Level him up. How is Pyrrhus? He's miles away from being usable. I guess 5111 isn't terrible, but it's certainly not great. The next commander I'm probably going to level up is Chow Chow, and that's with talent, not with skills. Get him to 5111 so he can be a fourth Barbarian March. The alternative is Mulan, but Mulan has only three at the moment. Chow Chow actually has that. Obviously, I'm never going to get Minamoto, so if I'm going to 5 March, I'll need to go Chow Chow, uh, Loha, Boudicca, Belisarius and then either Ethel or Kira. But I don't, yeah, my Kira's one at the moment, so. And Sirodi Crisis, I believe, starts tomorrow, but I'll just be going for the equipment and the speed ups, I presume, as I just check. Yeah, Sirodi Crisis starts tomorrow. Nothing else of note. Thanks very much for watching, everyone.
Thanks, Gemstones, for sponsoring the video, and hopefully next time we meet, this number will have increased a lot more. Oh, before I go, someone accused me of not being free to play on my last video. Look, here we go, first recharge. Still don't have a Minamoto bought. Where do we have the uh, the trading post? Still don't have the Divine Inheritance. Didn't get any of the other ones. You know, it's quite obviously free to play. There's 50 odd videos to watch for proof, but just, just to let us all know, ooh, one more gold chest. We know this one's going to be the Thutmose. Imagine if it was. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. See you all next time. Peace out.